how much does it cost to spend a day eating around an Epcot festival? Well, today is my last chance to experience Epcot's Flower and Garden Festival for the year, but there are still so many foods I haven't tried yet. So my goal is to make it around the festival and ultimately at the end, see just how much you might actually spend if you eat your way around the world. Now, starting with this roasted corn in the Epcot Farmer's Fresh booth. The corn is roasted on location just outside the booth and is topped with a delicious garlic and plant-based cheese spread. Now, the corn is really just a vehicle for that amazing garlic dip. It is so good and good for my festival gift card at $4.75. But I'm not just trying to get yummy eats. Since this is my last day, it's also my last chance to complete the garden graze. So that's why up next is the avocado toast from Brunch Cot. I've gotten this toast many times before, even earlier this festival season. And while it is consistently beautiful and colorful, the taste this year was honestly meh. I feel like it could have used a little something something, like a spice or a feta cheese or just something. Plus, it's not the cheapest, coming in at $6.75. However, what I'm looking forward to is the free redemption treat at the end of the Garden Grays, which will definitely help my budget out. Now, in need of some AC and more cute orange bird, can't get enough of this little guy, also more food. So I opted for the two food options inside here, the orange sesame tempura shrimp and the lemon meringue pie appropriately enough because this is inside the Citrus Blossom where you can get drinks, festival merch, which is when I was here at least 30% off. Plus you get your 20% annual pass holder discount on top of that. So of course I had to snag some orange bird ears to go with my orange bird shirt and get some pics with my favorite topiary of the year, twins. But back to the food. Between the two foods I got, both were good, but surprisingly for me was, I was actually a fan of the tempura shrimp the most, especially that orange chili sauce it came with, although it did set me back $7 plus the $4.75 for the lemon pie. So far, the food booths have been in the World Neighborhood areas, or you might also know it as Future World if you're a 90s kid like me, but before diving into a food loop around World Showcase, I needed some fuel. So I got some Starbies to fuel the rest of my Disney adventure, and this super kind cast member there gave me this because she said it matched my ears and shirt. That was such a wonderful little Disney magical moment. Ugh, customers are the best. I unfortunately didn't grab her name though, darn it. But thank you. That was, that was truly magical. Cast members truly are the Disney difference. Drop a we love cast members in the comments if you agree. Heading into World Showcase now. First up, bye. Mm, Baron Market, or the, the Germany food booth, where the toasted pretzel bread with ham and melted cheese. Cannot go wrong there. $6 and another item checked off of my Garden Grays adventure with the potato pancakes and applesauce. Both items delicious, 10 out of 10 would get again. Oh, and only for $5.25 potato pancakes. 100% worth it in my book. I'm seven foods down and definitely double digits on cost, although I've got some more food booths to hit up. So I'm interested to see what the final amount will end up being. But something that is helpful is splitting festival foods. That way you can share both the cost and the yumminess with someone you love, which is exactly what I'm doing today because my mom is here with me. After a stop to catch the Eat to the Beat concert, I popped into the Magnolia Terrace for the Mufalada Panini, 625, which, Again, honestly, I was not the biggest fan of, but I did want to try something a little different. However, I also got another treat from here that I never would have ordered myself, but that I actually ended up loving. It was recommended to me from a customer at Tony's Town Square restaurant the night before in Magic Kingdom, and it was the Bananas Foster Bread Pudding. This is a now a must on my festival list. Again, we love cast members. Also only $4.75, which made it even sweeter. And Oh my goodness though, speaking of sweet, this is the sweetest thing I may have ever eaten at Disney, and that's kind of saying something. It's the coconut tray leche cake from La Isla Fresca, $5. And wow, it tasted pretty good, but I could only have a couple of bites because it was so sweet. Plus, I had to save my sweet tooth for my Garden Grays redemption prize because that was the last stamp I needed. I beelined over to the pineapple promenade via friendship boat and enjoyed the sweet, but not too sweet this time taste of mango lime Dole Whip in a cute little cup. And even sweeter was the price, zero dollars. But how much of a hit did my festival gift card end up taking altogether? And today's final amount was but it was definitely helpful having someone to share it with because I got to share the cost, but most importantly, I got to share in the memories as well. And that's what Disney's all about, is creating happy memories with the ones you love. But if you're looking for what are some of the can't miss foods here at Epcot Flower and Garden Festival, you gotta check out this video here where I talk through some of the musts and some of the miss, but with a twist.